Japan seems to be obsessed with robots and AI. Why is that? And how will this tech impact our future? I took a plane to find out more. Disaster robots are fascinating machines. They have to be very good at adapting to extreme surroundings. I got the chance to meet one of the leading experts in rescue robotics. He showed me some of his amazing creations at his lab at Kyoto University. In this video, Professor Matsuno will explain how this robot could help in conquest of Mars. If you want to find out more about his robot snake and why snakes are perfect blueprints for all-terrain robots, click on the link here. You can also find the link in the video description. But before we talk about space, why is Japan a leading nation when it comes to disaster response technology? ね、before he got involved in disaster response, Professor Matsuno's line of research was space exploration robots. What do these fields have in common? Take this robot, for example. Fuga is designed to inspect areas that humans can't access. Its powerful multifunctional arm can even retrieve important objects. Thanks to its four crawlers, Fuga can easily overcome challenging terrain and even climb stairs. Its dextrose arm can also open doors and execute many other delicate tasks. The movements of the arm can be controlled with a camera. It's just at the tip of the arm and you see me on that camera right now. Basically, Fuga performs similar operations as a Mars rover. With plans for sending people to Mars becoming increasingly concrete, technology like this will gain more and more importance. But we need it here on Earth too. Ato, ma, tateba Fukushima no bari desu to hosha no ga arimasu ne. Are mo uchu to onaji nan desu ne. Dakara, etto, liohou ga umaku ko otagai no jiohou koukan shi nagara, liohou ga ko umaku, eh, ano, gizu koujou deki leba ii ka na to omimasu. If people should ever reach Mars, they won't be able to simply leave their pods and explore their surroundings. They will need robotic helpers. And ideally, these machines will be fitted some kind of autonomous navigation. After all, they won't have any data available on the terrain they have to navigate. There's no Google Maps on Mars. Remember this little fellow from the beginning? It has an interesting approach to solving that problem, even though it's still in testing. The robot consists of autonomous segments. While each part could move by itself, the whole device becomes more stable the more units work together. Each part communicates with the others to synchronize movements. And here's the trick. When the robot faces an unexpected obstacle, a gap for example, it returns to the base and tells its operator how many extra parts it needs to get past the obstacle. Amazing. Now, while this project might never be implemented in a concrete system, the research findings could impact future robots. Professor Matsuno's work is renowned worldwide. In 2019, Fuga came out on top in the Rescue Robot League of the Robo World Cup. And while Japan's own national space program doesn't include manned space flights, Japanese inventions could contribute to milestones like the Mars mission currently in planning. <laughs>